What's going on everybody? It's Release Fairy Duelist here. So today I'm doing my bulk recording stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff that came out, so I'm trying to knock all this all out. So the next on the agenda is talking about the ban list. So let's make my first huge. Okay, so the ban list. Oh, look at that muscle. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's not muscle. <laughs> that's like hot dog feeling. But um, so anyways, we're going to be talking about the ban list real quick. Um, so my predictions before we go into this, because I saw like two cards, you know, I didn't see everything. So some of it, like I'm probably going to, this is like semi-reaction. I did see like grass that's greener got nerfed and that's something that I had predicted would get nerfed. So the things that I talked about that would probably get banned or like change. So one was, uh, they're going to hit Dark Magician, so Magician of Dark Illusion. That was one of them. Let's shrink down here and we'll put my little my little list together. Okay. So here's this BS Ninja deck that I put together real quick in my other video. We don't need it. So number one was Magician of Dark Illusion. So Dark Illusion. Okay. I had said that this card would probably get semi-limited just because for one, I, I understand it's an ultra rare, but it's out of an event. So, like, I think event ultra rares are okay to hit. I kind of figured that would get semi-limited just because, you know, your Dark Magician deck can play, like, enemy controller and Tretch and do all these other crazy things. So, that's why I kind of figured that card would get hit. Um, the other one was Grass. So, Grass. So, there's Grass that's greener. Um... I said like semi-limited to limited on that card just because not necessarily for right now like there is the Shiranui, Shiranui Grass that's greener deck that's out but there's a bunch of other decks out there that will be very disgusting because Grass that's greener is a thing. Um, what was the other one? Because I said Shiranui, you know, hitting Grass hits Shiranui. Uh... I didn't say anything about Cosmic Cyclone. Mm. I think that was it. I think the other thing I, w I was thinking about too was they would hit uh, Ikiza for her sealed tombs. But yeah, that's about it. And then I also said Amazon as Swordswoman could probably come off, but maybe I'm wrong. So, because she's semi-limited right now. So, like, these are the three cards that I was kind of talking about. So, let's go into the actual the actual ban list and take a look at what's going on. Okay, so we go info, I think. Is it under info? Or is it up here? Ah. Here we go. <clears throat> so... So it looks like it's coming out February, or sorry, March 24th. So you got about, let's see, changes to me, let's see. So skill rebalancing will be between March 17th and 19th, and then the actual ban list will be in March 24th. Okay, and it looks like there's a limited three that's added, which is kind of cool. So the way that Duel Links does things as opposed to the actual card game is that, let's say a card is limited to one, or let's, let's actually use t the limited to two, semi-limited. So in the regular card game, that means you, if you want to run a bunch of like semi-limited cards, you can have like a bunch of twos. In Duel Links, two means you can only use two total of the of a semi-limited card so that means like one and one or two of the same thing so that's the difference between dual links and the card game okay and they're, they're adding semi-limit three which means a three and i'm pretty sure that means they're gonna hit like um the way i think about it for semi-limit three is they they want to kind of like those like really disgusting combos you can kind of squish them down a bit you know so that way they're not as consistent but let's get into it we're gonna start with the skills the change will be March 17th through 19th. So let's go here. Sealed Tombs. 
Sorcery conduit, compensation. Oh, I forgot about compensation. Like, that thing is disgusting. Uh, spell specialist, trap layer, and my monster cards. Okay, that's getting nerfed. Creator is getting buffed. Cyber Dark Style will be buffed. Bring it, my the king. Buffed. Chain Reaction, Love of Pain. They're getting text fixed. All right. So, Seal Tombs can only be used if your life points are lower than your opponent's by a thousand or more. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, neither player can banish cards from the graveyard or special summon monsters from the graveyard. This skill can only be used once per duel. Oh, okay. So, they put a life point requirement on here. Uh, la, 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 la. It's still going to be used here and there. It's just because of the fact that it shuts down so much graveyard stuff, it's still a good ability. People play Cosmic Cyclone and get around that, so it's really not going to be a big issue. Because look at like Sorcery Conduit right here, just got nerfed to 1500 life. You play one Cosmic Cyclone, boom, you know, you, you start popping this thing off. Okay. Oh, you know what the other thing I, for I forgot about um, as far as my ban list was the Pula from uh, the Element Saber Invoke deck. I wanted that uh, semi-limited. Because that card's freaking annoying. To me. Alright, so Sorcery Conduit. We'll discuss in a second. But Sealed Tombs getting changed like this. Um, I think Dark Magician could still run this. Because I think they run Cosmic Cyclone. And it's still going to be like... If you get that Cosmic Cyclone off, it's still going to be pretty oppressive. No, it actually eliminates your first turn stuff, because a lot of people, were, when they were playing Dark Magician with Sealed Tombs, they were setting up board, sealing the tombs, and then just locking you out, and you're done. This, in a way, kind of slows it down, but they could still use it on, like, so let's say, turn three. They would Cosmic one of your back row, you know, do their Dark Magician stuff, seal your tombs, and then... You would still have a bad day. I think I, I will say it again. Sealed Tombs is a necessary evil. So I think like it, it needs to be around just to keep some of those graveyard decks in check. Um, I think it's a good change. Uh, any change to Sealed Tombs was a good one. Now that I'm like kind of like processing it a little bit more, I think it's a good change. All right. So we got Sorcery Conduit. So instead of 1,000 life, you have to lose 1,500 uh, okay. And it's not once per two, it's not once per duel either. A little bit harder to pull it off. It, it being at 1500 is kind of tough, but, um, it's still possible. You probably would only get this off like once or maybe twice in a duel if you are going to use it to get you like your Alistair. But I like any hits that Element Saber invoked is, is, oh, in my book, a thumbs up. Compensation, which I completely forgot about this ability because I don't really, when I've been playing, like I don't really run into Dark Lord um, Bakura that often. But, oops. But what's pretty annoying is they can mill you out pretty insane with compensation. So if you don't know what it does, every time you lose life, you can mill a top card of your your deck. So, you, you, but the thing is, Dark Lords can shuffle cards back into the deck, so they're they're just like, hold on, they're just like this. Let me move me. So they got, they're, they're kind of just like spinning like this one way, just like milling cards, and then the Dark Lord cards are just milling them, spinning them back in the other way. <laughs> but yeah, so enough of that. So it looks like you can um, only use it twice for duel. It used to be unlimited. So that's a nice change. Now these three here, Spell Specialist, Trap Layer, and My Monster Cards, what these were if you had five... Um, of whatever the, so if you had five cards of, um, different names, it gave you an increased chance to open up with that card. So pe what people were doing, like in Shira Nui, is they would run three grass that's greener and then like, um, four different other random spell cards. And then they had a really high chance. It was like a 71% chance to open up grass that's greener, which is pretty nutty, but yeah, but I do know, like I said, Grass that screener already got hit. So they're just like the sure Nui. 
Uh, my monster cards. Okay. Creator, the skill text will remain the same. The skills effects will change starting March 24th, 2020. I think with this ability, when you would lose 2,000 life, you're either getting like, um, if you're use like the extra card ability when you're dueling, it was like a pot of greed. I think it's the same thing. It was like a pot of greed, a harpy's feather duster, regeki. Um, I feel like I'm missing one. Mirror force and like magic cylinder. I think you were getting pulling one of those, I believe, or like a monster reborn, something like that. I don't remember. All right, cyber dark style can only be used each time. Your, point, your life points decrease by a thousand, so Cosmic Cyclone again. Return one card from your hand to your deck, then randomly add one Cyber Dark Monster from your deck to your hand. Kind of like Master of Fusion and some of those other abilities that got changed, so it's not on the draw. It gives you an opportunity to, like, kind of, like, abuse it in a way. I don't want to say abuse because it's not a good word, but it gives you a little bit more wiggle room to make smarter plays instead of just being like, oh, I'm going to wait till my next draw. Okay, so bring it. Can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,000. Return one card from your hand to your deck. Then add one level 8 dark warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. Plasma. Boom. You get your plasma searcher right here. A lot of people that run... Um, what is this guy's name? Uh, I forgot this guy's name. It's going to kill me. The guy who plays Destiny Heroes. Why can't I remember his name? Whatever. But Destiny Hero Man, a lot of people who pl play that character run the Cosmic Cyclone and like Anki and Mass Change. So this is going to probably be like with Ritual Beasts. Because uh, Plasma is pretty nutty in Ritual Beasts. It's like a good tech option. So there you go. Al Aster. Aster Phoenix. There you go. So Aster with Ritual Beasts. Boom. Boom, roasted. Um, Might of the King. It can be used if you control a red dragon archfiend. Return one card from your hand to your deck. Then randomly add one Scarlet Security, Red Dragon Vase, or Crimson Fire to your hand from outside your deck. The skill can only be used once per duel. Um, this card, I want to say this ability was on the draw also and didn't give you that chance to you know, swap out a card. This one's adding a card from outside the deck, which is pretty cool, like um, Master of Fusion. And um, I would say like two of those cards are like okay. Scarred Security blows up back row. Red Dragon Vase is a pot of greed, but you can't special summon, I believe, or normal summon the turn you use it. Crimson Fire is just total garbage because no one really plays Burn like that. So, whatever. Chain Reaction Love is Pain. They're just fixing the text on that. All right, now to the meat. Okay, here we go. The good stuff. Grass that's greener. One, boom, called it. Dark Lord Ixgel. Two. <laughs> they just said screw Dark Lords. Um. I'm kind of happy about this change, not because, like, I hate Dark Lords or anything, but I only, I think I only own, I only own one X-Shell, so that's, like, less money I have to spend if I want to play Dark Lords. So that's pretty nice. Because I think the other card that's semi-limited is the Dark Lord Contact, which is special summons out of the, the graveyard. So there you go, I just gotta play one X-Shell. Spectral Sword, the level 2 one. Okay. Oh, I didn't even read why. So it says, Ixchel's getting nerfed because Dark Lord decks are very difficult to defeat for many decks. So we are limiting this card to promote deck diversity. Okay. This card will be limited to prevent sure new e decks from... So Spectral Sword, what this does is, um, not the turn that's sent in the graveyard, but like the turn after it's in the graveyard. You can banish, is it any zombie type monster? Okay, so it's a non-zombie. Non so, you banish this card and a, and a non-tuner zombie. And you can make synchro summons out of the 
um, you can synchro summon. And I think that's insane about Spectral Sword is that you can summon even uh, monsters that had a requirement. So like, um, what's the King Hados requires you to use like um, uh, I can't remember, but it, it, it plagues for a zombie. You don't need plagues for a zombie with Spectral Sword. It just does it. So, eh, leaves you open for more zombie decks variety in the future. We've got Blackwing, Roshi the Squall. The win rate for Blackwing decks when going second is too high. We are limiting this card, which is used by many Blackwing decks. So they got hit again. Um, okay, I guess. Oh, Ritual Beast got hit. Um, this card will be limited to prevent... So, Tamer got limited to re prevent... Uh, Ritual Beast decks from summoning many monsters in one turn. Okay. Oh. So, dang, Invoke got hit pretty hard. So the semi limit three, so you can only run three of these. So they just took a dump on like Shiranui, Dark Lords, Ritual Beast, and Element Saber invoked. Okay, and they put a freaking box Ultra Rare on here, which is nuts. What the heck? I mean, it's not band band, you know, like you could run three, but doing this with the Palace of the Elemental. Lords is, um, hmm, oh shoot, um, I forgot I was recording, I was like really like in deep thought, but anyways, um, Jesus, they finally hit invoked, I mean I didn't really have an issue against that deck cause I play, I play Buster Blader and I play a lot of counters against invoked, but it's nice to see that this card's getting hit. Yeah. So the so Pass the Elemental Lords will be limited because when used with a certain skill, it allows players to add both an Elemental Saber Monster and Alistair Invoker, making fusing, fusion summoning super easy. I agree. Even though they skipped the battle phase when they used this card, um, it's still pretty obnoxious. Cosmic Cyclone is getting limit three, which will be, this is going to be very interesting because now they can kind of, I feel like this is going to create more room for like more decks because now that there's the threat of the three man, the limit three, um, there's going to be a lot more variety going around, which is cool. I'm, I'm happy to see that. So what? Oh my god. They took off Cyber Petite Angel. And Vision Hero Vion. Wow. And they took off this thing. This is the Negator. Yeah, this is the Negator. Okay. I mean, this card actually, compared to the Pula, is not that great. It's got a fatter booty. But you're discarding to negate. Oh man. This is going to be a fun meta. I understand Dark Magician hasn't been hit. <clears throat> but <laughs> Vision Hero Vion's out of jail. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so much fun. And I own two of them. Okay. Wow, and Cyber Petite Angel's out of prison. That means I gotta actually level up, uh... I gotta level up that lady. Cool. I guess that's it. Overall, the ban list. I think there's some really great hits in here. They hit Sealed Tombs, they hit Comp... Pretty much all those really... The decks that have been around for a really long time. Um, they got hit. I don't know about Dark Lords going away because I thought they were going to go away last time when they got hit the first time and they, they freaking 
limited the freaking monster negate trap. They are going to draw a lot less and special summon a lot less, but I'm pretty sure, like, they're going to find a way to be obnoxious still. I wouldn't count Dark Lords out yet, because I think um, last time, one of the other really insane decks that was out there, um, Six Samurai, it took, like, three nerfs. I want to say it was, like, three nerfs and, like, one, like, kind of, like, secret nerf with uh, World Legacy Clash that really kind of brought him down to a good power level. Okay. I'm surprised sure Nui got hit because they, I feel like they haven't been out that long. Actually, they have. They were in the Vendred box. No, they weren't. They were not in the Vendred box. They were in their own box, I believe. No, they're right here. So, this box. The other nice thing, too, is sure, Nui won't be able to run, like, World Legacy Clash and tre tre and Enemy Controller, so I'm okay with that. When did this box come out? Does it even say? Let's look up the eyeball. December. So, two months. It was out for two months and got hit. Dark Magician has been out since, let's see. So Future Horizon made Dark Magician its thing. So let's see. Came out December. So this band list is going to hit in March. If we're going to do the math right now on how long you're going to have to deal with Dark Magician if you do hate Dark Magician, you got about another month. By going by this math here. Let's do the math real quick. So this was December 11th. Okay. We're in February. So two months about. This one came out. Two weeks. Almost three weeks later. So probably. if Probably on the next ban list. When it comes around, Dark Magician might be looked at. I'm guessing. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.